But we switch to other news now. A milestone morning in the six-year U.S. involvement in Iraq. U.S. combat troops have now withdrawn from 15 Iraqi cities. In Baghdad, they set off fireworks Monday in celebration. And senior foreign affairs correspondent Martha Raddatz, who has been to the region more than 20 times, joins us now from Washington. Martha, what happens now? Are U.S. Are, are US forces going to be positioned in a way they can move back in quickly? And are Iraqi security forces ready to take this over? Uh, well, U.S. forces can definitely go back into the cities. In fact, they will have a presence in those cities that they have withdrawn their bases from. They will be with Iraqis in those cities, Iraqis taking the lead. And U.S. military officers do believe the Iraqis have come far enough to take over these cities. But look at the numbers. The U.S. still has 130,000 troops in Iraq. We started at about 145,000 during the invasion. At the peak, there were 170,000 troops. That was in October of 2007 during the surge. And again, right now, we have more than 130,000 troops. So that's an awful lot of men and women we still have there. We want to turn now to a new comment from former Vice President Cheney. He has weighed in on America's Morning News, the Washington Times, America's Morning News with another warning. One might speculate that the, the insurgents are uh, waiting and, and as soon as they get an opportunity, they'll begin to launch more attacks. I hope that's not the case. I hope certainly that the Iraqis can deal with it. At some point, they've got to stand on their own. But I would not want to see us uh, waste all the tremendous sacrifice that's gotten us to this point. I feel that's a pretty remarkable statement, Diane, because it was the Bush administration that signed this status of forces agreement with the Iraqis calling for this exact kind of drawdown. That's right. This is not the Obama administration's move. This is negotiated all last year. It was negotiated Absolutely. all last year by the Bush administration. Yes, it was. All right, Martha, thanks so much. As we said, whatever happens next, it is a kind of milestone this morning in Iraq.